Hello, it's Cameron here from QuickShot Films, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to export in Surf Movie Plus X6. To start, you'll want to get your video, edited it in, and all that stuff. Uh, I, this is my little test video for exporting. Uh, to make sure you guys can see that the quality's, quality's full. Uh, so yeah, the first thing you want to do is go up into File and make sure that your project settings are the same as what you want to export it in or what yeah what you want to export in so uh, you want to do this before you actually start editing but uh, you can do it afterwards and it should be better so uh, go and find your settings so I usually use 720 uh, by 30 because it's closest to the closest automatic one to what my camera records in uh, but there's all these options here uh, you, it doesn't have to be the same as what your camera records in. Uh, it's just whatever you want to export it in, mostly. And Surf Movie Plus will adapt your videos to fit that uh, aspect ratio. See if I change it to like that. Uh, okay. It'll change it to like not widescreen anymore. Uh, and it's important to have it as HD widescreen for to render out in HD widescreen. So. That's why I do that. And yeah. So, once you've got all that sorted out, I go up here into your export tab. I assume you guys know where that should be. Uh, in the file, and click file to export it to your computer. Uh, once you've got that open, you have all these options. The one I usually use is MPEG. Uh, Windows Movie Video is a smaller file, not quite as good quality, but you can still do HD with that. Uh, just, it's a bit weird how it renders. Uh, you got MP4 and movie, MOV and you can even export as audio from these two formats. Uh, you, can, you can export an uh, <coughs> AVI and all that stuff. Uh, it's quite cool. QuickTime.move you can actually export video in tra with transparency. It's quite handy for if you're wanting to stop your program from lagging. You can export part of your video and then overlay it on your on your video uh, to stop a bit of lag uh, and fast export. But yeah, so there's move. Remember that for when you want to export transparency. Uh, yeah, so today I'll just show you a compare that one with this one and maybe another one but I'm not sure so I'll go into here click next uh, and then find the same sort of settings as what you've done your project settings as so uh, and here I've got 720 by 30 with 30 frames per second because that's what my project settings were uh, so that was just an NTSC HDV in that one uh, and this is widescreen and stuff in HD so yeah uh, but of course you've got Blu-ray quality, which is massive. Uh, DVD, uh, custom ones for if you customise your own. I uh, wouldn't bother going into this unless you're really getting serious. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to customise them. We've got enough options here. But uh, yeah, so an HDV, HDV 72030 is what I use. So uh, You don't really need 1080 for YouTube because 1080... On YouTube is only so small amount of people use that and it doesn't actually change too much quality on YouTube anyway and this will be smaller file size and easier to upload to YouTube so yeah. so I'll just go and render this out and I usually render it in high quality as well not best because as I say it's very slow uh, so yeah uh, I'll render this out and I'll be back when it's finished also I should mention before it finishes this is what it'll be like when you're exporting uh, let's just pause the export and cancel and a uh, good thing you can do with this export is you can cancel it but you can still view how far you exported like it's still a viewable file which is really good not a lot of programs do that but Surf Room Plus still finishes off the video once you click cancel and you yeah, open folder uh, to see where the video saved and stuff so, it's almost done I might as well just wait for this Okay, now it's done, and as you can see, uh, these things have ungrayed, and I can open and open the folder. So if I click open, you can see it's 
see it. I don't know if that's too loud, so I'll just uh, you can see that the video is fully fully, fully widescreen. And all just like that. Uh, my monitor is actually uh, since I've got the taskbar here, it's like opened at the the wide inside. Uh, so it's my monitor is exactly widescreen ratio, so that's why. Uh, that's why those black bars are there, but it is actually full widescreen. Um, so yeah, so yeah, when it's like this, you can see it's perfect to the edge. And yeah, so that's in that format. That was MPEG. And yeah, okay, so big to that. Uh, close. Okay, now to the other format. Just open that up. So export file. Uh, hold on a second. Do WMV. Okay, so go next. Uh, I found the closest one again to what my project settings was was HD 72030 and a uh, high red quality. And if I finish, save it, can play this out, uh, export this out, and I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so now that that's done, I can go ahead and open that. As you can see, you might be, you probably can't tell on the actual video, but it is about the same. Uh, yeah, full widescreen. And, yeah. So that's WMV. That will be slightly smaller file size. I'll just go down and see that. Here we go. So here's the one, the first one, which is M2T. That one is. 12 megabytes. This one here is 1 megabyte. That's how much smaller WMV is compared to this. It's 12 megabytes. <coughs> WMV is 1 megabyte. So WMV is good for uploading like 20 minute videos and stuff, but since I like keeping my like full full today like 720 quality, uh, I'll use this most of the time because most of my videos aren't over like 15 minutes or so, so they're not too big to upload. But yeah, quite a big difference in file size down here. Uh, yeah, 12 megabytes to 1 megabyte. So, you know, uh, I think that'll be enough to show you guys to get the idea on how to export. Uh, you can try out all these ones. You just go into them, click the X to find the right one for your project settings. So, like, uh, widescreen, widescreen for this one I don't think goes high definition. Uh, I'm just going to set it manually maybe. 1280 720. That's high definition by the way if you guys know that. Click OK. Choose a template. Uh, HD. And yeah that will save a template for HD. So this one is the one that saves the transparency. So yeah. So that's how you export in Surfer Plus X6. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to comment and rate and subscribe and do all that stuff. And uh, tell me what you guys would like to see next. Uh, I also do other videos as well. Uh, like actual proper videos rather than just tutorials. Uh, they come out, out like... I think my last one was a week or two ago. My last proper video. So make sure to subscribe for those as well. Uh, leave suggestions in either private message or comments and I'll be happy to help. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you've all enjoyed and yeah. So goodbye guys.